Thank you for joining. In this lesson, we will continue practicing controllers in Netcore 7. We will focus on the iAction result interface, how to use it, and the methods it provides. In the previous lesson, our endpoints inherited from a controller abstract class that had methods like content result, content, and so on. And our endpoint return types were also based on these methods. However, when we initially created the home controller class, the boilerplate code provided by Netcore 7 was different. Let's recreate it once more and see what the exact difference was. You can see the difference between our code and the original one is the return type of the endpoint. In our example, it's a content result, while provided by Netcore 7 is iAction result. Netcore 7 actually recommends using iAction result. And now let's see why it's recommended. Imagine we need to combine some logic in an endpoint's code to obtain a query string of a type similar to this. So all necessary checks and verifications need to be included in a single endpoint. I will quickly add the endpoint code. At this point everything is in order, and our logic is correct, including the endpoint's return type. We can now receive the correct response from the endpoint. But suddenly our endpoint has started getting larger. And the new requirement is to return data in JSON format. So I will change the return type to JSON. But we encounter an issue with red squiggles, which says cannot explicitly convert type. So if we return a content result, then using JSON is not allowed here. Similarly, if we return a JSON result, then using content is not allowed. And we cannot return both, because in C-sharp we need to specify exactly what we intend to return. To resolve this, we need to use the iAction result interface recommended by Netcore 7. When we do that, everything works smoothly, no matter what type of response we want, whether it's JSON, content, file, or not found. Netcore 7 doesn't complain, and we can declare any legitimate logic. Also, it would be a good idea to change all our endpoints to use the iAction result interface. Like this. iAction result includes many types of action results, and this list is not exhaustive. In the next lesson, we will practice with status code results. And as always, lesson assignments. At the conclusion of each lesson, I highly encourage you to complete the assignments, as they will greatly contribute to your progress in ASP.NET Core 7. By consistently practicing, you will see faster results in your learning journey. And the assignments answers you can download from the GitHub. The link is below. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great coding content. Stay updated with the latest videos by ringing the notification bell. Happy coding!